On a bright Sunday morning in our Baker Street house, Sherlock and I were discussing about a very strange news that's spreading our city since yesterday evening. You are too much excited about this ghostly African hat, right Watson? Ghostly or alive hat holes? Same indeed. Quite interesting matter, isn't it? This African hat looks like a crown. Now suddenly this hat is became alive. It is moving at his own wish. It is jumping, dancing, sleeping on the bed, even sitting on the dinner chair. It's obvious that the owner of this hat is quite frightened. You forgot another thing, Holmes. That hat climbed on the rose plants and sleep there too. Wait for a few minutes, Watson. The owner of this amazing hat, Mr. James Russell, is coming soon. He called me in the early morning. We were just finishing our breakfast. Doorbell ringed and our housekeeper introduced a gentleman carrying a big size of box. Good morning, Mr. Holmes. I'm James Russell. Good morning, Mr. James Russell. Meet my friend, Dr. Watson. Now please, tell me how can I help you, Mr. Rossville? I told you everything on telephone, nothing to say anymore. For more than three days, this incident is happening. I didn't say anybody in my house, not to the newspapers, about this hat. Still all the newspapers published this news since yesterday. Since then, everyone making me mad asking about that hat. Please help me. But, this hat's news somebody must gave to the news reporters, otherwise, how could they knew? I asked. That surprised me a lot. Okay, but does this hat is doing all the things that the newspapers tell him? 100% true, Mr. Holmes. I bought that hat on last Monday from an auction house. It's my hobby, collecting rare and unique kinds of objects. That African crown hat looks so different. It started from two pound and when did reached a ten pound, all the people left that did only a foreign looking gentleman. Please proceed. He didn't left the bid, so me too, and when I said seventy pound, he also left. I came home with a hat from evening, that hat started showing its tricks. I was doing tittle tattle with my friends in the drawing room. I kept that hat on a small side table. Suddenly I saw that hat is walking on the table and fell down. But I ignored it, thought the wind blew that hat. After dinner completed, when I went to bed, saw that hat is lying on my bed. I asked all my family members, but they knew nothing about it. I kept that hat in my bedroom around 2 o'clock at night. A rustling noise wake me up. And I stunned to see that hat is walking freely on the floor and walking towards the window and jumped from there. Immediately, I took my dry cell light and pistol and ran behind the hat, saw that hat climbed on a rose of plants, like sleeping. Did you bring that hat, Mr. Rossville? Yes, Mr. Hollins, I don't want to keep this uncanny hat anymore with me. Mr. Rossville opened his bag, handed a big beautiful crown type of hat to Holmes. Yes indeed, it looks so unique. The hat is covered with beautiful African designs on it. A rough smell is coming from the hat. Holes started thorough, checking the hat. This hat is so heavy, without a robust body, no one could wear this hat. But, wait a minute, native African people mostly chief of the tribes or tribal kings wear such crown hat. This hat is made from some wild animal skin and painted. And Watson, please bring me the last year's World News Diary. Here. Got it! Last year, a landlocked republic in Eastern Africa, Uganda. An army general forced the then Tovo throne from the royal power and captured the country's power. King Tovo fled to France taking political asylum. A big fight held there between general and king's army, so many people were died in that civil war. Okay, so Mr. Russell, can I keep this hat today, if you don't mind? Thank goodness, keep this hat forever Mr. Holmes, I don't want to keep this hat with me anymore, maybe next day, this hat can kill me too. Don't worry Mr. Russell, later in the evening, we are going to your house. Okay, thank you very much, I'll wait for you both, have a nice day both of you. I had a few call to attend in the morning, it took my whole morning till early evening.
When I reached our house, saw Holmes is waiting for me. Did this hat trouble you, Holmes? I asked. No, Watson, and that surprised me a lot. Why? If this is a ghostly hat, and making trouble every time, then why he became so calm in this house? Isn't surprising, Watson? Then, do you think Mr. Russell lied to us? He himself informed to the newspapers? But for what, and why? That's why we are going to his house, to revealing the mystery. Come on, let's go. When we reached his villa in Piccadilly Street, Mr. Russell was waiting for us in front of the gate. He took us inside of his house. Holmes was carrying the hat. He kept the hat on a sofa table and began talking to Mr. Russell about his antique collections. This house looks like a museum to me. I was sitting idly on the sofa. Suddenly I noticed the hat is moving slightly. After a few seconds, the hat is started small walking towards the garden's doors. That made me such speechless that I couldn't talk for a while. But when the hat run away through the door, I shout. Holmes, Holmes, hat is running. Mr. Russell, the chain stunned watching this, but Holmes was smiling. He then started walking the same door, but the hat was vanished. Suddenly Holmes also jumped from the corridor. After sudden dizziness, I started running behind of him suddenly, and I heard a gunshot. Somebody fired through the gun. All the house servants and members began running to the garden. When I reached the Holmes, saw he is carrying his gun in his one hand. What happened, Holmes? I asked in a confused state of mind. Saw a very small puppy lying dead. Blood has covered his little body. Tim. Tim, who killed you? Mr. Russell, Tim's real owner, I just fired him away. When did you buy this puppy? The same day I bought the hat, an unknown person brings him to sell, and I caught him, but I don't understand what's going on. Well, Mr. Russell, inside of this hat, there must have some kind of valuable things. That's why those people sold him to you. You may notice a rough smell always coming from this hat. Originally, this is a wildflower smell from Africa. This smell can last for many years. They treat him through this smell for stealing this hat, but Tim didn't tread well, so he couldn't reach to them in time. They were waiting for Tim on the road for a few days, but today they killed him. Then Mr. Hollands, are you saying it was Tim who was hiding inside of this hat every time and did all the mischievous tricks? Certainly Mr. Russell, this is the hat's real mystery. And about newspapers? Those people informed it to the reporters, because, if you lost this hat, easily one could think, Ghost is the behind of the hat's disappearance. And Tim, look at him, he is such a tiny little puppy, no one could see him hiding inside of the hat. We came back again inside house, Holmes took a knife from Mr. Russell and tear off the hat and lots of precious diamonds, sapphires, rubies, emeralds came out. I shouted at Holmes this gems are belongs to the royal members that you mentioned. This hat must have been lost while they were escaping from their country to France. Certainly, Watson. Next day morning, Holmes gave me another good news. Three people have been arrested in the connection of Mr. Russell's dog's murder case after when Holmes went to the police station last night.